Thank you so much, Sakura. I never would have found the crisscross moss without you. Of course. I know where it grows, so it's not much to ask. Though retrieving it has been a difficult task. Oh, but the oxen visiting Sweet Feather Sanctuary next week will surely appreciate it. It really adds a shine to their coat. There we go. Now, that wasn't so tough. Fluttershy, tell me, will this be enough? Gee, I don't know. It's a pretty big pack, so maybe enough to fill up this sack? <gasps> oh my, you're rubbing off on me, Zagora. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Ah! oh no, oh no, oh no! Zagora, oh. are you all right? No need to fret. I only got wet. At least now I can easily grab all the crisscross moss there is to be had. <gasps> What's happening to you? Honestly, it's hard to tell, but suddenly I don't feel so well. <gasps> Zakora, let's have a listen to the old ticker. Hmm. 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 Do you think it's serious, Doctor? Well, that wasn't a good sign. I can't believe a flower did this. I take back thinking it was pretty. <coughs> mm -hmm. We're looking for any color other than red. Phew. Oh, it's just as I thought. I'm afraid you have a very rare disease called Swamp Fever. Tell me, Doctor, what should I do? I've never heard of Swamp Fever, mind you. Unfortunately, very little is known about the disease. Except, of course, its symptoms. Change of coat, coughing bubbles, shock sneezing, confusion, and the last stage, the afflicted turn into the very trees that drop the disease-spreading flower. Oh, is there anything that can be done for such a terrible conundrum? A cure has yet to be discovered. I'm sorry, Sakura. Hmm. It's a lot to take in. I'll leave you two to discuss. Sakura, this is all my fault. If you hadn't been helping me get the crisscross moss, you wouldn't have gotten swamp fever. I'm so sorry. Fluttershy, you are not to blame. These things happen all the same. I refuse to accept that. There has to be some pony who can help you. Oh, there's a healer of legend who never would fail. But I only know her from ancient folk tales. Mystical and masked, she came in the night and cured everything from hoof cough to fur blight. What became of the healer, no pony knows, for she disappeared ages and ages ago. The mystical mask, of course! My parents would tell me about her whenever I was sick in bed. There's so many accounts of her power to heal. She can't just be a legend, I think she's real. If that's who we need to cure you, then I'm going to find her. And I know just the pony who can help. <laughs> 